Hey y'all, welcome to another vlog. It is Sunday and I'm getting ready to go meet my friend Sarah for coffee. Haven't seen her in a while, so we got a lot to catch up on. Um, color of the day today is amber. I don't really have anything in the color amber, but this shirt is close, right? So that's what I'm wearing today. Here's my outfit. I had to come into the bedroom and the lighting is so bad. But anyway, I'm just wearing this uh, shirt, one of my favorite t-shirts that one of my subscribers got me, some black leggings and my Doc Martens. That's my going out for coffee outfit. Oh, the lighting improved a little bit there. I'm thinking about moving this mirror into the living room so that I can do my outfits in there with better lighting. I don't know, we'll see. So obviously I cannot record in the car very much because I don't have a mount in this rental car. Um, so I'm about to head over the mountain down to the coffee shop and I will see you guys when I get over there. coffee with my friends at Collective Coffee. She's going to pick up our coffees right now. I'm not going to vlog her because, you know, I don't want to put some, this lighting is terrible. There we go. So she's going to get our coffees and we're going to hang out here for a little bit and chat. I got a, an iced coffee with sugar-free hazelnut. And you got a got an Americano. Americano. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the inside of the coffee shop, y'all. This is my favorite place to go and get coffee. It's so nice in here. It's really busy today though because it's Sunday. On the weekdays there's like nobody in here so it's kind of nicer but that's all right. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, we decided to go for a walk after our coffee and I want to show you guys this beautiful old church that is down here on Whittington. It is so pretty. We're gonna go take a picture in front of that red door but I love these old buildings. It's been built onto in the back, but this front part is the original building. Okay, these people are trying to turn. This is the first Presbyterian church. Uh-oh, somebody's coming out. <laughs> so while we were out here trying to take a picture, this old guy from the church came out and took a picture of us, and he told us that the red door means sanctuary. So I guess back in the day when you were looking for a safe place to go if you saw a red door that meant it was a sanctuary it was safe to go in i thought that was really interesting and yeah he was really nice he took pictures of us and i have no idea who he was nice church guy so this building right here this used to be the art church was it which was like some kind of like hippie collective artist place i don't know if that's still what it is it says whittington place i'm not sure what it is now this also used to be the place where we would go and pick up our um we, what is it, what is that thing called? Like the CSA food? We used to go here and pick that up, but um, I don't think they do that anymore. But anyway, it's a beautiful old church, another beautiful old church. There's so many of them here. Oh, it says the yoga place. So I think they do yoga in here now. Hmm. I don't know what else they do in here, y'all. Some hippie shit in here. <laughs> it's beautiful though. Oh, so over here, Andrea's School of Dance, is that what you saw? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what it is. So it's like a dance studio, a yoga studio. Look how pretty this is. I'm going to take some pictures. I love that door up there. This looks like something you would build in The Sims too. I swear. So here's the kind of the front of it. I'm going to have to get out in the street to show y'all. Hopefully nobody comes. But here's the front of the building. so gorgeous the side is really the prettiest part though right here next to the whittington gallery they also have farts fun arts for kids over here <laughs> there's another old church building on whittington y'all look at this how cool is that so i drive down here all the time but i never walk in this area so i don't really appreciate all the little details but look how beautiful that is this might still be a church yeah this is Roanoke Baptist Church. I love those windows. All right, y'all, so I'm back in my car. Uh, me and Sarah are done hanging out. We just had coffee and walked around for a while, took some pictures, that was really fun. And uh, I guess I'm about to head home or to the grocery store, I don't know. Stick around and find out. Well, I'm gonna be stuck here for a little while because church just let out and there's like a whole line of people coming down and I cannot get out of my parking spot. And there's people in front of me changing their baby's diaper in the back of their car, so I cannot 
pull forward to get out. So I'm just stuck here on the side of the road for God knows how long. Wish me luck. All right, y'all, I made it back home. I finally got out of the downtown traffic. It was horrible. It took me so long, but I had such a lovely drive back over the mountain. I was the only one on the road. It's beautiful. It's cloudy. It's kind of wet and damp. It's so pretty outside. And I was jamming to wind hand. God, I cannot get enough of the eternal, eternal returns. I think is the name of the album, their 2018 album. I can't get enough of it. I listen to it like every single day. It's so fantastic. Um, the pups are real happy to see me and I'm about to take them out. Um, and then I'm gonna finish editing my video and then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store. So I'll take you with me. Belle, Belle, get out of the woods. Oh my God. I wasn't paying attention y'all and Bella's getting all tangled up in the woods. Bellarina, come here. Come here, oh God. <laughs> it's so wet outside y'all. The dogs are gonna be all wet by the time I get them back inside. Aren't you puppers? I gotta keep them out of those woods. One time I've had to go in there and like physically untangle the leashes from the branches. And when it rains, we get like this little creek. And sometimes Bella will jump right into it. So I have to really watch her. She is not afraid of the water. Please don't jump in the water, Belle Belle. <laughs> All right, I just got today's vlog edited and it's uploading right now. It's gonna be like 45 minutes. So I think I'm gonna take this opportunity to go get some food. It's like 2 p.m. and I am starving. I haven't had anything to eat today. Um, I'm thinking about getting some McDonald's for lunch and then buying a steak to cook for myself for dinner, which means I will be eating twice today, which I haven't eaten twice in a day in quite a while. So I feel like I'm, my appetite's definitely improving. Oh, and how could I forget? I did a weigh-in this morning. Oh my God, I did a weigh-in this morning. I completely forgot to mention it. So let's go check the weigh-in right now. 138.8. Ta-da! So I have lost a total of 94 pounds. Uh, my highest weight was 232 and now I'm down to 138. Um, I've almost lost 100 pounds. That is insane to me. I cannot believe it. Um, still, when I look at myself in the mirror, I don't recognize myself. I still feel like I'm 94 pounds heavier. It's so bizarre. But I'm very happy with my weight loss and I'm going to continue losing weight on the carnivore diet. Uh, once again, don't do what I do and always consult your own doctor and do your own research and all that stuff. I do not try to push my way of eating on anyone. I don't think it's right for everyone. It's just what works for me because of my PCOS and my severe insulin resistance this is, the, is the only thing that has ever worked for me. So that's why I do it. Okay, so uh, I'm about to hop in the car and go get some food. Let's go. I ordered my McDonald's on the app because it's way cheaper. It only cost me like $5 to get two McDoubles and a Diet Coke. So I'm sitting here in the parking lot waiting for them to bring it out curbside to me. Then I'm probably gonna eat it in the parking lot. Oh, here they come. All right, all right. I just pulled over in the parking lot where I'm gonna eat this real quick because I am literally starving and I didn't think I could wait long enough to go to the grocery store, buy food, go home and cook it. I just need something now. So I got two McDoubles without the bun. Let's open up the bag and see what we've got here. At least they gave me a fork, they gave me napkins and they put both of them in one container, thank goodness. So it's just meat and cheese. I didn't get any of the other toppings and I did. I ordered it without a bun. Look at me go. All right, it's easier to do it on the app. And then of course I had to get my Diet Coke. So I'm gonna eat this real quick and then we'll head to the grocery store. Mmm, meat and cheese. They gave me a fork, but I just eat it with my hands anyway. I'm just a monster, what can I say? Y'all are not gonna fucking believe this. I just pulled into the grocery store parking lot. I look to my left and who do you think I just saw who was parked right next to me? It was Jack. I cannot believe it. I jumped out of the car and I was like, Jack? And he was like, Cindy? And I was like, oh my God. What? I, I was so distracted. I was so shaken up. I couldn't film in the grocery store. I did buy me some steaks. But he was like, you lost weight. And I was like, yeah, a lot. And he was like, you look good. And I was like, thank you. And I said, so I think you know my husband. And he said, who? And I was like, Andrew. And he was like, yeah, I saw the last name and I was wondering if he was related to you. I was like, yeah, he was my husband, but we're getting a divorce. And I said, so are you married? And he said, no, but I'm with someone. So I think that's why he never emailed me back. And uh, he's got a kid now too. So I am just like, I'm still shaking from it. It was so awkward and it was so weird. And he was like, oh, it's so good to see you. And I was like, good to see you. And he's like, maybe I'll run into you again sometime. I cannot believe that just happened. Like how did the universe just make that happen? The exact second that I pulled into this parking spot, he's walking up to the car right next to me. I, I can't, I, 
I don't know. But hey, that mystery solved. Um, our timing was never right. It was never right. And I guess that he's just going to be my unrequited love forever. I don't know what to say. Um, he looked really good, though. And it was nice to see him. I just... My mind is fucking blown right now. I cannot believe that happened. Okay, I'm gonna go home and put my steak away now. All right, I'm back home and I was just checking on my video to see if it was done uploading. It's got like six more minutes left, y'all. I am still just like shaking after seeing Jack. I, I'm just, I can't believe that just happened. What, like, I feel like the universe just set that up for me. Just so I could know for sure, like, that's not gonna happen, Cindy. That's not the right path for you right now. And, uh, but it kind of sucks because I feel like every time we've crossed paths, like, it, it's just never right. It's just never right. He's just one of those people that I feel like I'm going to keep crossing his path throughout my life and we're never going to have a shot at it, you know? Maybe in another life. Oh, I'm just pacing around my house, like, trying to calm myself down after that. I don't know why that made me, like, so anxious. It was just so unexpected, you know? to just see somebody like that out of your past, like a fucking ghost all of a sudden and try to come up with something to say. It was so awkward. But anyway, I wanna show you, I'm trying to get it out of my mind. I wanna show you the steaks that I got for myself. And I was like, I need. I knew that I, I was gonna film in the grocery store, but I was like, I just couldn't. I was just too shaken up. And there was people everywhere in there anyway, cause it's Sunday. But all I did was buy two steaks. So I got these um, ribeye steaks, two of them. Like this will literally be, three to four meals for me. Um, and I'll probably cook them both in the air fryer with my delicious garlic and herb seasoning. Um, but I'll probably cook one of these later tonight because um, I'm not hungry now because I have the McDonald's. So I'm just gonna stick those in the fridge for later on. I've already fed the dogs and taken them out for their evening walk. So now I'm about to cook these steaks. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna cook one or both. I'm gonna see what will fit in the air fryer. So I'm doing them in the air fryer. Let me get it out of the cabinet. So I keep my air fryer down here. Here's the basket part. And here's the actual air fryer. Okay. All right, and what sucks about these countertops though is I can't really open this thing all the way because the cabinet gets in the way, so I have to kind of open it up. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna get the steaks out. All right, I'm gonna open up the package here and season these up. So of course I'm gonna be using my garlic and herb seasoning that I use on all my meat and I haven't cooked in so long. I hope I still have some up here. Oh yeah, I do. I have a big container of it. So I use the Grill Mates Roasted Garlic and Herb. Um, I like the ingredients in this. Okay. So I'm just gonna season it on both sides. I have just been craving a ribeye y'all so I'm glad I went and got me a couple. All right, so I'm gonna turn it over and, actually I'm gonna put these in the air fryer and then season the other side. That way the seasoning doesn't all fall off right here. Okay, so it's kind of hard to do this while also holding the lid to this thing up with my arm. Oh my God, come on. All right, there's one. And yeah, I can definitely fit two of these in here, so. I'm gonna go ahead and cook both of them up. All right, gonna finish season that, seasoning them with the garlic and herb. I'm not gonna do too much, just a light coating of seasoning. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on grill. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do 400 because I think that's what I used to do in my old air fryer. And we're gonna start that. Um, I'll do 20 minutes and I'll check it after 10. I don't think it's gonna quite take 20. All right, y'all, it's been 10 minutes. So let's see how the steaks are doing. Ooh, they're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them over. And uh, let's keep cooking them for a little bit longer. Okay, y'all, it's done. Oh my gosh, the smoke. Ooh, that looks good though. Oh my God, that looks so good. I'm gonna put it on a plate and then I'll show it to you better.
Here's what she looks like. Oh my goodness. I'm about to put some butter on this while it's still hot. All right, here we go. Yum, so there's my dinner for tonight. Looks so good. All right, I'm about to try this ribeye now. It actually looks really good. It turned out better than expected. That's pretty good. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my dinner and wrap this vlog up here. Um, after I finish eating, I'm probably just gonna do the dishes, go take a bath, maybe play around with my tarot cards and go to bed early like I always do. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.